Hey, y'all. So, we are back with the weekly wrap up for our uh, you know. we content got some good this stuff, past man. week. We got some we, content coming. We, we got a lineup today. We got, we got a lineup, guys. The Pineapple Buds from Pineapple Party. Yes, sir. That we're going to dive into. That's from BC Black. We yes, got sir. the Af- uh, the Af- yeah. The Alaskan Thunder. Thunderfuck Live Resin that we're going to save until last Ooh. because it is cerebral as hell. And then if we are still functioning, we've got some nebulous guava cool based mm. pre-rolls here. Two of those to uh, spark up and share. I've wanted to try the flower. Yeah, I, I wanted, wanted to, honestly, I was able to try one of those pre-rolls, sharing it with Benny and uh, and Dopest Mama, and honestly, great flavor, really mm. smooth smoke. Like you could tell it's a little bit of an older batch, which it it just doesn't have the same intensity and the wallop that mm-hmm. you would expect, but it is still one of the best pre rolls I've come across for smooth smoking, consistent, and how the biggest. The on them? Well, they're, that's what I was just gonna show. They're the long cone. Oh, so I love the long cones. I gotta I, give it to Vertical Sherbert Glue. They did a long cone for a point three. Dude. It was like a Yebe point three. Yeah, it was about that size for a point three, maybe a little yeah. shorter. So that's a half grammar, in comparison to Uprises, which are about yay big. Yeah, right. I, I love personally the long cones. like Uprises burn. These ones burn pretty well. And for pre-rolls, really nice overall oh, yeah. look and consistency. And the container is one of my favorites. It's one that you keep. It's a little bit of a pain in the ass to get open once you figure out. But it's definitely one you keep and use continuously. He also was 100% guys, on there. I, I, I always, I always love those like keepable pre-roll containers. I love the old Pure Sun Farm ones where it's like just that metal tin you can yeah, really just that slide, slide open. one. Yeah. The metal, it came that inside metal of a bag so it was in the child proof bag mm-hmm. and then you got that little pinch slide metal tin but it was mm-hmm. so easy to pinch and once you wore it in you literally could just slide the thing. And also I guys, love it. Just to let you all know Trevor and I are about to actually collab together. Oh yeah, we're, we're, we got we got a little project got, in the background. You guys will coming. you guys will get to you see it once ready. it's once it's all finished up and mm-hmm. ready to go. We got I'm, something uh, in the works. We got something in the works. I'm looking forward to it. It'll be kind of a since we've got a bunch of these garage sessions recorded, mm-hmm. it'll give us something to do in that kind of week or two break that we take from the garage sessions, mm-hmm. but still creating some content, kind of pushing my limits of the content creating side and the cinema cinema cinematic and the photography side of things as well it's it's gonna be fun i'm looking forward to it but uh and not only that but you guys actually might hear a a little little tune little tune soon for the uh for the outro of these garage sessions we breaking into the mac one by fraser valley at this point we've been sitting here and talking for 40 minutes even though you guys are privy to about three of it right yeah now. we've been here for a little bit i've been ready. waiting to crack this fucker open since i bought it last night in the city <gasps> oh my God. so and i'm one of those guys where it's <laughs> like okay we agreed we're gonna split the ounce so guess what i'm not gonna open it until we like if they weren't if it was just yeah we'll just kelton's gonna get a quarter off of this so that he can try it too but we weren't planning to do the garage sesh i would have hit it heavy last night but <laughs> we applied for the garage sesh so guess what i waited that's a that's I, a gem of a man right there. Well, not a lot of people are willing to wait like that. Well, and after feeling the nugs, I wanted to crack the bag in the parking lot. Right? Like, I'm not gonna lie, right, bro. The nugs are nice. They're it, a little smaller, but they got some uh, density. That, I was just gonna argue. I didn't feel small on mine. Really? Oh man, actually. Because if you go and you look, those are some decent sized fucking you got Like I for and it smells so good for that. 85 90 dollar ounce price range mm. this is fucking hard to beat mm-hmm. this is really really hard to beat mm-hmm. um obviously i want to give love I w- to fraser valley they i want to give some shout out to that company too out. that i picked it up at the uh rocky mountain roots cannabis store in st albert hey. we p- picked this up there definitely impressed with the price point on this and they had actually a, a decent stock their concentrates was really the only thing that's lacking but it seems like you have concentrate stores and then you have kind of your all purpose stores and then you have your little bit more flower focused. They know their 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 customer base kind of yeah, stores. And that's absolutely. definitely what that was because you look at the menu, there was very focused price point and genetics in that store. They yeah. knew what their customer base was. Right? Shout they didn't out have to, to you guys. You guys are doing it right. Out. Yeah, like Shout they didn't out. have to it didn't seem like they would have to 
work that hard to sell because it's a lot of similar genetics but with their own unique profile or flavor right and that and that's totally the st albert market i used to smoke out there quite a bit people are looking for bang for their buck while still getting a great genetic (coughs) and just looking to get good high i'm excited to try this actually i am i'm very excited it's actually a pretty nice nose on it too like really nice nose on it for it smells like dill you get you get the kind of deli off of it. Get the little deli, a little bit deli pickle. But it's not bad though. <laughs> well, it's it's not a bad like I get that that kind of herbal little bit of that I get, sweet. I get like a nice spice mix with like. Yeah, I'm more with Dustin on that, where it's almost more of like a, a subtle undertone of like a sweet something. I can't pick it up, but it's a very like, subtle. Like for me, the best way I can describe it is you're working out in the garden and you can smell the cherry pie cooking in the house. That's kind of what I'm what I'm getting because you do get that that rich kind of multi cherry oh. flavor on it, but it is like like Dustin was saying, it is so subtle that you have to fucking search for it. And once oh, it's there it is. it's dense as shit. That's the th- that's the thing. Like I was squeezing these buds and like the trichomes inside are beautiful too. Yeah, and I'm I'm expecting once we break it open that cherry to be a lot more dominant. Yeah, I just want to. Legit. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. I that cherry just punched me in the nose. I want to smoke this. It's going to It's oh, now a really God. nice pie melon with like Stop a bunch it. of seasonings. That kind of See now since you yeah. guys pointed that out. Oh yeah, since he, oh my god, since you pointed that out. Yep. Yep, that's oh, all that is well, in once, my taste buds bro- right now. I can get more of it now that he's broken it up over there, right? Like it, this is gonna be a punchy yeah, strain when it's ground up. To throw in the grinder because I broke that guy. I cannot anyways. wait to smoke this. Uh. Let's fill this grinder with a good amount because Man. I think we're all gonna like this one. And like, I and like, it's it. a, it's dense. Like for I'm, the price point, and you it's hard can't to fucking. I have to work. <laughs> like if I'm get if my shoulders are coming to my ears <laughs> to get that turn, it's dense. And that's like I'm not putting on a show to try and no, sell this not. up. Like, this you is, can see it. It's hard as fuck to try to grind. Like as somebody who's not usually a big fan of Pure Sun Farms, this that branch, was my biggest this fucking branch. Scare. But I was like, you know what? It's their new line. I'm fucking trying it. And my introduction to them was with the Donnie Burger cross with, and it's a cross between Han Solo Burger and GMO Cookies. Mm. Beautiful cross. If you like that nice, like garlicky, gassy. Little a little skunky with a co- a, a slight nice. cookie in there. That that don, that yeah. Donnie Burger's well, that, and that's that's the thing. It's, it's kind of hidden though. It's labeled as D Burger most of the time, oh, but Donnie Burger. Mm, shut well, up. That's why I threw it out. I'm like, if you guys want to get that, we'll tr- I'll trade you this for that <laughs> kind of a thing, right? Yeah, no, that Donnie Burger is something. But I was gonna say, even if you guys want to go and do the same thing we did with this one with that one, we can do that too. Like I'll get the ounce, keep half, and then you guys can take a quarter of it each, right? Because for me, I would rather buy ounces like that because price point, it's better. I can try more of these ounces. We can bring them onto here. Like if we're planning to do that, we can sit down and smoke them on here. Right? It's just, it's one of those things where it's, I would rather go through these ounces because I'm hearing things like Pure Sun Farms has some quality ounces again. And they're slowly turning it around. Like they're bubble mints, which also that name makes no fucking sense. Why isn't it like cake crasher or like wedding meltdown or something like that you know it's wedding cake crossed with cake crasher or wedding crasher sorry two two wedding strains you guys missed the boat on that you called it bubble mints good strain though it's it's not as cherry as i was expecting the cherry definitely goes away when you grind it up Mm -hmm. which is kind of sad but you get more of the pastry pastry Mm -hmm. like Pepper. I get a Good. slight pepper with yeah. a nice herbal. Kind yeah, of it's pastry. it's it's more of a crust taste than it is oh. the pie. Actually, can I pack a bowl? Yeah, I was just gonna say we. I was gonna literally pour it out and start packing bowls. So I pack out of the grind because it's convenient. For my yeah, spoon. you got you got the spoons. So it makes it easy for you. But honestly, you guys really impressed with this Fraser Valley. Like I would, it I is. would act just off of the look and the grind. I would consider going and buying another ounce. It's coating that's, my spoon with keef. Like, and that's that's another thing. It's like the buds are dense and coated, and they have it only ranging in at twenty percent. Which, hey, that's I've had that's some that's thirteen percent put me on my well, fucking ass. And for me, it's not the um oh well twenty percent is gonna hit me. It's the it's twenty percent, and it looks 
like a stellar 20%. That's more where I was coming from. Could the trim be better? Absolutely. Could the bud showcase be better? Absolutely. But what can you expect when you're play when you're paying close to like it was 90 bucks. There's been halves. I've so that's four, for that that's price. that's 45 dollars for a half. Yeah. So take that down one more. That's twenty two fifty for a quarter. Go buy a potluck, seven gram, and have it look like this. I challenge you. I legitimately 100%. challenge you. Get me a seven gram of potluck that looks like this, and I would be willing to give it another shot. I've had two gin eggs from potluck, and I've not been had? sold. I've had the oh uh, the fir- the one you you were br- carrying, and I tried. And then I also I've had them all, so I, that's a um, yeah. It's the one that I, bought. I think it was I think it was the banana banana cream. Yeah, I think I bought banana the banana cream, frosted cherry, orange layer cake, and pineapple express. The pineapple express I've tried before, and but pineapple express never really yeah, sold me. And I tried the mids, and I tried the banana, and just didn't really sell me. Right, it was one of those where it's like, eh. I I would if a rep offered me some to try, I would try it. Yeah. Like it's not no, so no, bad no, where it's like I'm turning it away, it. but it's not one I'm going to spend my own money on. No, unless I have like legitimate people going, you need to review this. There's a re- like Pure Sun Farms, Fraser Valley. You guys have heard it from me. Every time I reviewed Pure Sun Farms, it's been it's decent weed. It's perfect for its price point. It's not something I would buy. That's literally how I wrap up those reviews. 100%. Every single time, it's you buy what you, you're paying for what you get. It's decent. This, this stuff you're get, so you're far getting more than what you pay it's, for it. Yeah. It seems like it's a fucking step up, right? Like it legitimately seems like it's a step up from, like, this. This blows grasslands out of the fucking water because the, that's the company that I would think is the next in that pr- kind of price I range. Had grassland. Oh, they they at the beginning when they had the strawberry banana, Ooh. that was a killer run oh. that strawberry banana they had was a killer run i got a 15 <coughs> gram of it and it was fucking mind melting there's a strain i might be getting into the store it's called stronana dog walker by flower i don't want to try it so that that if it's a dog walker crossed with a stronana that could be really really good. right because i had the dog Especially walker og by, i had the dog walker og it, it is pre-rolls though i will warn you but I had the well, Dog Walker OG that's by... That's how it starts in Alberta. Yeah, I had the Dog Walker OG by Tabletop. Yep. They did a great job with the with the flower, but the pre-rolls were so damn tight, I was a little pissed. They smokable after you play with them for like five minutes. Yeah. But then again, that's me. I like my joints loose as shit. A lot of people like them like tight, tight, so... <laughs> well, it depends on how the, how the filter <laughs> seems to be rolled, right? Yeah. He's already got her packed. I was literally sitting here waiting for you while you're texting, dude. He's like, okay, I'm fucking enough of this. He's making business moves. Making business. Yeah, that's why. That's why I didn't say anything. I just I gave him the time and then I reached over and grabbed it. (laughs) Right. Now that you're done, Mm -hmm. I can fucking give you a little bit of a hard time about it because it's nothing hard. Ooh, anybody want a hempwick or a jet lighter? Because I brought both of those down. I'll take hempwick too. Uh, Is there there two? Well, it's the big fucking spool. We can just go one right after the other. That's the nice thing about it. You go first, mate. Am I good, sir? Sorry, guys. I don't mean to be on my phone a lot, but, like, I got to... Oh. Hey, man, money moves. you got to be making business moves. <laughs> well, it's the same with, like, literally Cheers, the, the podcast that's going live today. So, this last Saturday, you see me on my phone at the end. Or not Saturday, the Sunday one. The Sunday one. You see me on my phone at the end. Why? Because I'm uploading something for us to have on Instagram, right? And it's the same with today. I'll probably end up uploading something while we're on this. Little things like that, while there's two other people able to have a conversation, I don't mind. It okay. was, and like, that's why okay. I gave it a little bit, and then I grabbed the grinder, brought it over, packed up, because then he realized, oh shit, we're packing up, because he didn't see Dustin pack. So me reaching <coughs> over, grabbing the grinder and packing, gave him that cue, right? And it's and it's not that we need to rush you so you shut the fuck up. It's, no. No, it's, I want to smoke. I want to smoke, yeah. Let's be in the conversation. Let's pause this point. <laughs> Hit the ball and then come back to it, kind of a thing. And that's nice. me and Kelton having done this type of shit for years. We've learned how to communicate like that. We've learned how to hand shit back and forth. We learn like there's just there's habits that comes in into certain things that doing it creates reputation. <coughs> reputation creates ease and repeating, right? Like that was a good flavor. That the, that Fraser Valley Mac one. <coughs> had you ever tried it before? Nope. I, you have. <laughs> Just yeah, you were, you were pumped. When just I, as good as I fucking yeah. remember, man. 
Man, that is actually bad. But it tasted even high. better because it was out of a clean bottle. The last high. time I ripped it, it was a little dirty. And that high is actually really good. It kicks in real quick, too. It's nice and <coughs> cerebral with like a nice, like, slowly works its way down the body a little bit. It's kind of kind of creeping. <laughs> it is. It definitely hides underneath the It's like, a, it's right a decently eyes. smooth smoke, too. It is. Like, it's got a pepper like bite it. to it. It does have a bit of pepper. I wasn't ready for the pepper bite. But it's good. But it's not too. I it's called not too that out though, like the yeah. little pepper with the yeah, yeah. with the pastry. But it pastry. wasn't it wasn't too bad. Well, when it's got that that hint of pepper, I don't really <coughs> feel it. I <coughs> felt it. Which, it's not a bad. It's just a. Oh, I'm it's here. A, oh hey, whoa. Yeah. I feel so good. Oh, right? well, that was such <laughs> a good smoke. I'm looking at that pineapple buds too, cause like, don't get me wrong. That stuff gonna. You just want to get into it, don't you? Well, oh, dude. We can take our time talking about it. Yeah. Because I can break up some more of this macro. I, 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 def- def- I definitely want to. Exactly. I just wanna, oh, sorry, not a split. That has tobacco in it. Roll up a little doobie. I just want to smell it. Not, yeah. Mm. You smell that again, you get cherry off of that way more. Like. Oh, yeah. The whole bag, you get a little. Mm. Like, it's crazy how. It, this is it, a complex. It changes. Oh, my bad. That oh, was my bad. Oh. I just tipped it this oh. way because I'd rather go on the table. 100%. Oh. That is a very complex smell to it because when you grind it up, it's got like a peppery. It's got a herbal, nutmeggy kind like, of a. Pastry kind of smell yeah. to it. And then when it's in a bag, it just smells like a little like pe- peppery, spicy, or s- s- herbal mix of cherry. And, and for me, I'm almost kind of going away from that pepper and going to more like an allspice or like a cinnamon or something like That's a big spice yeah right? it's like a, a mixed spice like yeah. a, like an italian seasoning almost or not maybe not an italian but like a that's that's why i'm thinking like baked goods right it's not that that pepper kind of burn but it's more that yeah. cinnamon heat Ooh, that kind yeah. of a feel right it's not because it's not <laughs> like <coughs> ripping at my throat but it's just <coughs> Settling in and baking there, like Tastes. ginger, like ginger, like ginger beef, yeah. that type of burn, yeah. that ginger beef yeah. spice burn. That's exactly what it is. That that really well curated ginger sauce, that ginger burn. I'm not gonna lie. This smells like a backwood, like a backwood like blunt. Yeah, this blunt smells pepper. like a backwood. And it, and, and in specific. <coughs> I kind of get Russian cream back with. Mm-hmm. I was just going to say, like, mm-hmm. I'm really interested to see what you guys smell. Oh, like no, that. trust me. I know. And oh. those, Trevor knows that, like, I any, miss Russian cream backwards. Trevor, Trevor knows any time that I get, I want any blunt papers, he knows that Russian one of them cream. has to be Russian cream. Vanilla bean or Russian cream? Vanilla bean or Russian cream. The one of those two. Pineapple Otherwise, there is no fucking blunts being rolled. <laughs> okay, am I, this is pineapple no. pez and cheetah piss, right? Yeah. Because I, lo- oh I, I absolutely, absolutely love my blunts. But oh they need God, to. Oh my God, these numbers. It slaps. Like, I do, I do give them credit for, because it slaps. That literally smells like a Russian cream backwood, and I'm so excited to taste this. <laughs> Yo, holy. 3% oh turps. God. Let's go. This is going to slap me like a bitch when we smoke it, man. I wish the only complaint from me is I wish they put it in a container. A jar? Me too. Yeah. I think it would have been more that, that nug looks like it got squished a little bit. I was bit. just going to say. It, like it would have been a big birth of beautiful nug, but then it kind of got flattened a little bit. But it's still a nice nug. A lot of a lot of the stuff that I smoked, um, I should actually just pull up the picture, mm. show you guys. Um, it was oh, primarily that smell. nug in the bag. That smells like a fucking dream. Oh, wait. that this grind smells fucking crazy right now, dude. Where is that? We are smoking some fantastic weed today, ladies and you gentlemen. You already know it, though. We're smoking. We're smoking some fucking mad. And we smoked a little great gas, gas. before this. Oh yeah, we did. Oh yeah, we did. Also, these Grinchmas hoodies, so, Trevor absolutely killed it. That's oh, the pineapple. that's a three and a half, yeah. Damn. Is that the oh, nug that's, that's there? That's the nug, the big nug that's in there. I smoked the three small ones. Oh my god! I say like the any purple. Any though. any time I can save the big nug for you guys to enjoy, I try. Yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. Mm. They did a good job. That is absolutely <coughs> fucking beautiful. They did night. a stellar job. 
Okay, let's roll up some of this Mac one real quick. If you guys, I was just gonna say, if you guys want to break some of that up, <laughs> break that, some of that up for bowls, we can do that. Okay. Um, is right, it render like, empty or? Yeah, I emptied that one. Out. So we were grinding the should I grind now? a whole nug or should I? Do I was just gonna say we can. If you, I'm okay without a bowl of that because it's gonna give me a fucking headache with this Mac one. I can oh. already tell. So I'm just, I'm not gonna smoke it. So okay. and it's dense as fuck. So you probably would only need about half of that. And you guys can get two bowls each. Let's say like, ah, not that much. Do you open the bag? I was just gonna say because we're gonna have some fucking. These are the wide tips again, so we're going to have some fat Mac 1 joints to dive into, too. I, really I love wanna, this shit, oh man. God. I really want to see how this Mac 1 I'm not even going to lie. I woke up on a, on a fucking joint. mission to this morning. Look at the inside of that, baby. I know. That looks so oh, good. Oh, that smells even more like I'm a not, I'm not going to count. I was on a motherfucking mission this morning. I woke up at, like, I didn't go to bed till like, almost 2 in the morning. <laughs> Don't give a fuck. <laughs> Work night last. Sh- night Work, shift hey, things. Hey, night hey. shift things. 3 a.m., my man. Let's go. And then I woke up. At around like 9.30, well, 8.30, 9-ish, around there, and then um, laid in bed till 9.30, got up, and was just like, okay, I had I had a collaboration that I had to finish, and I got it done within the hour, and I was pretty fucking pumped with it. The, the, the one arranged on the garage sesh last week. What one arranged, la- yeah, legitimately, we got that down, and trust me when I say everybody. It's gonna be good. This 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 one y'all ain't ready for. We'll we'll have a first major feature on here, you guys. We'll make sure to to feature it on here, and uh, if these guys want want to, we could even upload it as a like video on the Right of the Leaf channel too, and have like a lyric video or just a fucking something video. Man, it's gonna be. Shout out to Brooklyn Sage, bro. Shout out to Brooklyn Sage, cause again. Dude made the beat. <clears throat> Dude spat Ooh. on the verse. If it's real good, maybe I'll make an AMV of like one piece or something like that. Like like dude, he made he made the beat. He is mixing my vocals with my ad libs. He is also Okay. Spat the verse and mix his own vocals. Like this dude made everything and is doing everything and this dude is like at like this dude does everything himself, and he's at thirty monthly listeners. Like, what the fuck? Do, so, do you know what I mean by when I say AMV? Yeah, 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 yeah. Dustin, do you know what I mean when I say AMV? Okay. He doesn't know. That's what I was just gonna say. I've got one literally on my mind right now. No, but I, I, I know exactly what you mean, and I think there are some that are absolutely fire. Because I've seen some with... Uh, Let's go. We're I've seen go, some with Bleach. We're going to go One Piece right here. Yeah, I've seen some with Bleach. And I've seen some with One Piece. And them, and them goes these. hard, bro. I've been thinking about making these a little bit. Oh. And we'll just watch this. This is Warbringer. Cream with, like a little, with a little something. I can't so this is what the AMV This is an AMV. So basically it's like an anime music video. So you like choose a scene from oh. an anime that you like or multiple scenes and it just gets edited. So you edit your song. You edit scenes of your show together to match the theme of the music. Yeah. Oh, that's sick. And there and some of them go. Like oh, this, this, this is what this oh, is the channel kinda, that I watch. Kind of what Juice World does with his, yeah. some of his music. Yeah. Yeah, it's all animated for yeah. his. But all of these clips are pulled from the One Piece show. Yeah. And this, this one's Warbringer. This one goes fucking hard because it gets going, it gets going, and it has everyone at kind of their peak. Like it's got Gear Four Luffy. It's got all these guys at it, like Zoro at his. Peak, right? All these guys went to show mm-hmm. now, and he does some killer ones. Ooh, and, like, and this one's just pure instrumental right now, which is even better. But the ones with lyrics, oh, oh man, they they, me. they are next level. The really good ones with lyrics. Oh man, I've seen I've seen the one with lyrics where it's just like somebody had a, and I was like, oh no. Well, that, that well, that's the thing is we can literally like I'm not trying to monetize these videos, so we can watch these and upload them because I'll just literally right now. Here we go. We're gonna give this guy credit. Warbringer by Crystal Vibes. But we want full screen right now because this fucking hits. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna need to watch one piece. This guy looks sick as fuck. Dude, it is it is killer. 
Like I, I was sitting there, and like, and I've been watching Bro. stuff like this, so I know what's coming. I'm only I a quarter. A I'm only a quarter of the way through. This just makes but me want to go to a festival. Yeah, that's the thing. Is this just makes you want to get hyped up, kind of a thing, right? Fuck yeah, dude. I like. I really am starting to like well done AMVs, the anime music videos. But. Especially if you can pause the song or extend a pause in the song and do stuff like this, where you hear the show talking and build a little bit of story behind it. Oh, there's, there's a couple of other good ones. Let's see if I can find them. Oh, royalty, that one did. Best of all. Oh, okay. I'm just yeah, trying. Legend. Oh, legends never mm. die. Is that one we should do, dude? That sounds pretty good, actually. Yeah, your yeah, legends never die. That's just. Uh, there's royalty. Oh, dude, there's so many good ones on here. This is gonna fucking probably hit me so hard. Rock lead leaving yourself. That one's fucking. That. Oh, right here. Vegeta and Pride. Here's a perfect AMV. Dude, I've seen some. I watch. I I've wa seen some hardcore. Like I've seen some AMVs of Dragon Ball with some lyrics, and it's heavy. Yeah. This one. This one is one of my favorites. I've legitimately watched this hundreds of times. Like so many different ones. There's Dragon Ball Super. That's all this one's full for. It's... Well, there is a both. Well, you, you guys can work that too, because I know okay. that'll give me a little bit of a headache. Yeah, no worries, no worries. Fuck, this line hits hard. <laughs> Dude, now when he goes uh, off of the super ego, then it just... <laughs> it makes you want to fucking watch Dragon Ball, doesn't it? Well, it makes you want to kick the shit out of stuff too, right? Yeah, like, yeah, that's that's why I like them. Dude, that's why I like watching uh, Bleach sometimes. Because yeah. Bleach is like, oh my god. Bleach is, well, Bleach, Naruto, and One mm -hmm. Piece all fall into that same category. Yeah, and it's the, using the father, or that, that kind of big daddy of all anime, which was Dragon Ball at that point. Mm -hmm. And, oh... Like just the depth and the story and yeah, everything, and the and the one thing with One Piece is with Naruto and Bleach, the arcs are quick, like yeah. it's fast, it's do do do, and it's like major upgrades, one level to the next, one level to the next, one level to the next, right? Like yeah. within Bleach, Ichigo hits second stage within like 150 episodes, yeah. right? Luffy, I'm 220 some episodes in, Luffy just hit gear two, and, gear, and he got gear two, gear three right away. And then it's like 500 episodes until he gets year four. Dude, so, I watched, like, I started watching the, um, the, 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 well, the, the point I was trying to get to One Piece follows that idea of life where it's a long, it's a long, it's a long journey. There's yeah. a bunch of little battles along the way that you yeah. gotta take over, but each of those battles will give you growth, and each character within the ship have their own growth yeah. arc, which is huge and that's crazy because each character has something for you to connect with because they keep adding characters right, yeah. right? Like, I, I'm gonna have to watch one dude what honestly been looking, it's been on my list for so long <laughs> that's what my dad and my so sister long. my sister loves one piece right now. It, it's it's hard once you like I don't think one piece will ever fully replace Naruto as my favorite anime but it will sit right beside it yeah. Like, it's, I, I've got to be realistic. Dragon Ball is number two. It's a fucking, like, it's a, within hair's reach of first. But it's two. Oh, okay. I might have to put One Piece equivalent with Naruto. And it's just because Naruto got me into the, got me into the genre. And it really gave me a respect for the storytelling of this genre. And that is why I have to give it the first place. It may not be the best ever, but it's the one I will always have on hand to watch. It's the first one I bought the first series of. <coughs> Top three for me. Bleach, Demon Slayer. Those are like fuck, dude. Demon Slayer is fire. I've only seen the Netflix fight. I haven't actually gone out of Funimation to finish it, but oh my god. 
Demon Slayer. I got Seven ring. Deadly Sins. I got, was also really I good. got ring, and I'm gonna say Full Metal Alchemist. That shit was hard as fuck. I love Chainsaw Full Metal. Man goes hard Full, too. <coughs> Full Metal Alchemist was hard. Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood is supposed to be like one of the like the most emotional tolling anime for like <coughs> men and people <coughs> and people with like, brothers and siblings and. You watch the first season, you get it, right? Like Eric and Alphonse, they have that connection. Yeah, yeah. it's it's fucking crazy. Then th- then you go and there's stuff like prison school. Yeah, <laughs> that's essentially. I need to on need the to verge of animation or crunchy <coughs> or something like that. So I have to start watching it. <coughs> oh, well, that the the thing is that you can start a lot of decent shows on Netflix, right? Yeah. Like Netflix has got. That's some what I'm gonna standalone be one piece ones and stuff. Yeah, and even if you just start with one piece there, start. and then There's you need to move over to thing. yeah, then you need to move over to <laughs> Funimation afterwards. Well, then you like it. Um, uh, High Rise Invasion would be one I recommend you watch on Netflix if it's still there, because that one was fucking good, and it's just a it's a single season. It's like you could sit down and watch it in a shift, kind of a thing. Oh, okay. yeah. Fuck. I watched I watched it over two five hour shifts. It's just a really, really good show. Ooh. And it's got, like, I haven't watched any of the Chainsaw Man, but it's got that, any of the clips I've seen, it's got that kind of pacing and that kind of funny, action-driven, I, I don't know first, what the fuck's going on. I've seen the first three episodes, and it's one of those ones where you down for a second, you miss so much. Yeah. But it is so funny. His goal is literally to touch boobs. He wants to, he just wants a girlfriend and to, to live a normal life, because all his life he's been... He's had debt and like yeah. he's literally sold his left nut and his fucking right eye. Like he's done all this shit just to be debt free after his dad died, and then he beget he becomes one with a demon, and he becomes Chainsaw Man, and it oh, <laughs> it goes so hard. Yeah, it seems like it's one of those shows where it's like for me, I almost want to wait just so that just I can enjoy full like marathon a couple of seasons. Yeah. 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 And I a hundred percent agree. And I it's... watched the first few episodes and I'm like, okay, this show is going to be sick and I'm watching it all when it's in English. Cause it's one of those ones where you, you really want to know everything that's going on. And I suck at reading subtitles quick. So it's like, I, I get and, the brief of it. And what's funny right now, I'm in that struggle of, right. Cause I used to be in French immersion when I was growing up. So I used to speak, French, like relatively fluently. Yeah. I can still understand it when people speak it, but I can't speak it anymore. Like I butcher it when I speak it. I don't have the roll or anything, yeah. but I still have the basic, like I learned how to roll my R's and do stuff like that. So when I speak, you hear it. Like I'm able to use more muscles in my tongue to definiate, d- definiate, define the words that I'm trying to say, which French is one of those languages that is really nice to have because you learn how to use different portions of your tongue to speak. Where when you're older, it's a little bit more difficult to do that. So I want to again relearn French, but I really want to fucking learn Japanese. That like, would be. I'm starting tired. to get like a crazy, crazy desire to go and learn Japanese, right? And it's just one of those things where it's like the thing is, is that I could learn it and then I could immediately use it. That's fair, right? Like even if it's just I want to learn Japanese enough to where I can sit down and watch anime and understand it, because then. When I go to Japan, because mm-hmm. I want to go there eventually, yeah. go, if people are having conversation, I can at least understand the conversation. And I may not be able to speak it clearly, fluently, but I can use basic vocabulary and basic um, speech to get there if I understand a little bit more. Like, I can't speak very well, but I can understand I completely understand it's just i need this yeah where to mm-hmm. right it's better to have that that level of communication because then it gives you access to a whole bunch more right because then you can go a little bit more versus sitting there with google translate fucking exactly. like exactly or trying to the, buy the, one the, of those thousand dollar auto right like i just no i mm-hmm. would rather learn the language myself and the mental benefit of that is has been proven end over end you learn a second language your brain creates these connections that you never lose and you then can learn a third language that much easier you then can learn a fourth language a fifth because i want i'm one of those people that i want to be a multilingual. like i've got the interest i need to just sit down and do it right and 
for us, if we all have that kind of, well, let's learn fucking Japanese so we can watch anime, well, then at least we can communicate, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. sit there, sit here talking Japanese out of nowhere. <laughs> well, but, but that's the thing. You get so high that all of a sudden we just start talking. That that would be a absolutely hilarious moment, right? We were Because we were doing practice before, and then all of a sudden we come back on and get high, and then somebody makes a comment, and we all just start laughing, yeah. right? Like... That type that would of be too funny. Wait, that I'll type of that growth and learning of the language is a, is the best way to do it. No, no. You guys can fucking roll that one up, or roll that one up. You can spark that one up. No worries. Oh my god! Right, it's got a really nice like heavy pastry flavor now. Pastry with like a little bit of cherry. Yeah, Ooh. I definitely think the joint is going to be where you get more of that. That's where I get most of it. This might be one of those strains you gotta roll. Well, just to... Well, I have no issues with it out of the bong. I just think it might be better through yeah. through a joint. And that's why I went better immediately to taste. roll it up. Because it was just so dense. And it burnt really slow. So I'm like... Yo. Okay. Hmm. I gotta... <clears throat> I, I gotta give some love to Citizen Stash real quick. I had their discovery pack. Mm-hmm. Good. Dog. Every it's... single one of those joints I enjoyed. The strawberry, uh, my favorite though was the grease monkey. And when I say that thing had a motherfucking resin ring, it was pouring resin. And all, every single joint, the ass was pure white. There was nice. maybe a little pepper, but basically white. And the smoke was so smooth every time. And I barely touched the joints before smoking them too. That's that is a all four upgrade for Citizen Stash because they they've been having issues a little bit lately. I've I've found I'm not gonna say everyone's found. I've found that the quality <coughs> went down a little bit. But if it's starting to return, I might have to go and give that discovery pack an, a, a shot. So I'm gonna have to get it back in because I actually really enjoyed it. Same with the uh, variety, the holiday variety pack by uh, Station House. They did a good job with that one too. Any multi pack pre roll option is that that I, seems to be the way to go. It, right? And like, I feel like it's because they put like the primo bud in there to get you intrigued to buy the other product. Well, that's what it, I'm starting to wonder. Also, the way to the way you dope think, and disabled guys. Yeah, dope and disabled. Dave, Dave is Dave. such a fucking legend, dude. You know what I started doing? Just he like flat out told me he's just like I'm just gonna start sending more shit to. He said, he's like, I'm going to bump up, he bump your shit. He wants me to send him stickers so he can just plast them all over oh. Ontario. Like, fuck. Like the, yeah, the dude's d- a fucking legend. He's just sending my music to people. Like, well, dude's lit. Le- legitimately. I, and I'm going to be he honest. He's a legend. I'm going to be up front with you guys. That's the whole point of Right of the Leaf. That's the idea behind this community is to find people that just want to help support one another. And when they find somebody within that group that wants to do that, Here. Let's make the connection. Let's make it happen. Brooklyn Sage, Kelp. Literally. Literally. You saw that happen. On here. Saw that, that is the whole fucking purpose of this. And now, and now just think. I'm waiting for a, for a mix right now from him on a collab that we just made. Think about that. Literally last week, working on that shit. Bada bing, bada boom. Bada bing, bada boom. Within a week. Done. This has got a pretty decent ash to it. It's majority white, but there's definitely some pepper in it. And it tastes fantastic. Definitely a nice I rolled these fat. Yeah, they these are really nice fat. fatties. It's definitely a nice sativa dominant. Like the cerebral is. Oh, or just that heady, heady, heady high? Yeah. <coughs> but it definitely has a nice body high to carry it along, too. It's doing pretty well, dog, for me. Mm hmm. I just, I knew if we're going to go into that Alaskan, and if we might dive into that guava, I just, I do not want to touch that pineapple, because if I start mixing too many, that pineapple gives me fucking headaches that you wouldn't believe. Like, it's literally, like, when I came home, if I didn't record the review, I was going to smoke some of that pineapple. Yeah. Right? So, you guys can, you guys can finish it off. There's just something about that, there's just something about that genetic same way. Me too, though. Doesn't agree with my body. We'll have to leave that on a tray or something. Because if, if I'm the same way, if I smoke too, too, too much, well, start getting a slight headache. It, it, it's literally, it was just that 
that specific one and I don't get it often. So it's like, I think it's a, that phenotype. So it might not bother you. It might not bother Kelton, right? I was just saying. No, I'm, no, I'm going to just play it safe and just take the one. Right? Oh, it was really one. tasty though. It was like a rushing well, back. Well, you like, got to remember if it's spacey kind of ahead, that's going to be this. Well, I can, I can just feel like a little something just like hitting my, yeah. hitting my head. Like it, it's, it's not that it's a bad high. It's just, I smoked the third bong rip and I could just feel a little bit of just a, a ding, ding, ding. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I'm starting to feel Kind of a temple bit. ringing experience that it didn't last that long, but it's just, I, I'd rather not, right? But the quality of the smoke, flavor, the experience, I would, so I would 100% recommend it. And I would smoke it if it was the first smoke of my day. <coughs> and then I could <coughs> go and do something for three or four hours, really lengthen the time between my that smoke and the next smoke, and then... I'd be fine, but I couldn't follow it up after smoking anything else. This Mac one is pretty smooth. It is fair. And like, again, the price point? Can't argue too much about that. Really can't, no. Really. It's... Gotta show some love to Fraser Valley. It's good weed one. for the price Pure point. Here Sun Farms, you guys are doing some, <coughs> some good things. Oh, even like at one hundred twenty dollars is reasonable. <coughs> Sorry, even at one hundred twenty dollars, this is reasonable. Oh, bro, no, no, MSRP like retail price of like majority stores one one hundred two with no. tax one hundred eight. I'm just saying with the quality, this punches up to the one hundred two. The fact that I got it for ninety, steal the deal. And that I, I'm trying to remember if that was on sale or not. I don't know if it was. I think that might they might just. Price that one low because they might have been trying to clear it out. It could have been there. Well, I'm not sure. I don't know, but, but either way, I'm happy with that purchase. Very stellar purchase right there. Like it's not a very, a very knocking stellar. me out of the park strain, but this is this is something that I would save to smoke later in the evening as my better quality um, kind of bulk weed. And if you're looking for a bang for your buck. That or some 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 of the tabletop chains. I'm not gonna say all of them. But it's lot. Good. It's lot to lot on those fuckers. It is 100% lot to lot. Sometimes you get like a run of six runs that are just great, <coughs> really good flavor, really nice high, really good bud production, and then they just have like a shitty run, and it totally turns everybody away from tabletop. Kelton's watched it happen over about a six month period with one customer because he continuously came in. When there's one lady who'd come in and buy the tabletop ounces from me. Yeah. And like <clears throat> literally it's a, uh, tell everyone not to buy this one. It's garbage this time around. And she just knew. She knew the rotation. So when she bought a shit ounce, she would just come back later and buy two, three and a half that were a little bit better quality for a cheaper price and just yeah. mix it in. Just dump those in and then she'd get, it's like, eh, it's a surprise now. Give me shit. <laughs> I'm like, that's, that's a good way to think about it. That is a good way of thinking about it. Whatever you need to do to get through that sour ounce, but she'd go back and try the next one. From tabletop and see how good it was. Mm -hmm. And and until she heard that the uh, new batch was good, she wouldn't go back to that one that was sour, right? And it's funny. It's just there's certain companies that seem to have those kind of rotations of just. Oh, this is uh, hurting me, bro. Well, yeah, that's why I said the Alaskan Thunder needs to be last because it's this, but about times 10. Oh, Jesus. It is straight cerebral distraction. This one ain't going to be anywhere near as long as yesterday. And I don't even think we're going to get to the Guava Cool. I think those are just going to be Those are going to be a surprise for later. later. Save for later. So who wants the puff go? Okay. Sorry, I was just dealing with this. Because <laughs> I, I, I do have packages on the way from Canada Post, so I yeah. thought it was legit, legit one. <coughs> so I, I went over, I, I checked the, the the tracking number they sent me on the actual Canada Post website. Couldn't find a package under that number. Motherfuckers think I'm dumb. Stupid. Motherfuckers, I be stupid. This is a little dab rig? Yeah. So. Is the dab in there already? Yeah, I've already put it. Because yours will just run. Take a little bit more. 
Oh, that one, dude. You go oh, it'll, okay. because. No, no, no. So when he, when he tells it, you that you like when you. I was just gonna say. So with that puff coat. Yeah. When we're when you're gonna take the dab, you're gonna press the little button on the front. You'll feel it. There's a little puff coat logo up there. Oh, really? So you press that twice, do do, and then you'll hear it vibrate, and then that'll start heating the bowl. So with that, then, um, I would just say use your spoon as your as a carb cap because I honestly just use my thumb, but I built a callus on my thumb. You'll probably burn the shit out of your thumb because yeah. Kelton tried to do it once, and I'm like, ah, maybe oh, don't. I can use bum in my lighter too. Yeah. Yeah, you just need, like, honestly, a little bit. Airplane. I was just going to say, your spoon would probably work perfect because you could just put it right on there and then put your thumb on top of it and just hold that. And then you just literally can just tilt it up and down and you get that airflow moving in there. Yes, sir. Because that puff goes is going to maintain oh, heat oh, on oh, it. Oh, 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 so oh, it'll oh. maintain that dabbing heat. And then Jeez, if that? after that time's gone out and it buzzes, because it'll buzz when it's ready, yeah. then you'll have 60 seconds to draw on it with it maintaining heat. If okay. there's still dab left in there, you just press that button again two more times. It'll buzz. It'll give you another 15 seconds of sesh, and you can do that twice in a row, and then it, it will max out. Oh, okay. But I did not put a big enough dab that you'll need a fucking minute and a half of heat. <laughs> da, 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 da. I don't know yeah, why I have that so it's fucking my fucking head. I've never used one of these <laughs> before. That's why I've been, I was like, you know what? Dustin likes... Lo- like cloudy dabs yeah. let's grab that one because it's small amount of dab big cloud bro my dad every time he, he picks us up <laughs> i get into the truck he like looks at me he's like oh that's a lot of smoke <laughs> and just start laughing in the garage yeah <laughs> yeah he just looks at me he's like oh that's a lot of smoke yeah the and smoke I, just comes and i just out start when he laughing he, oh man he's had to he's had to roll down the window a couple times and he just like looks at me he's like you stay <laughs> it's just like what a good time <laughs> oh did you guys see that video i posted on my story of uh, benny trying to be breath i missed that dude i've got to pull that video up actually see. speaking of meat breath do you think i could snag a little bit mm-hmm yeah, I can grab you something. can you can keep the extra change if that's okay. Huh? You, the extra oh. change. Yeah, we can just. I'll put a little bit of that towards me, breath. Uh, I still want to send you forty bucks for the hoodie. Insta. Yeah, I'll give you a different email for that one now. Okay. I'll get you to e transfer me that one whenever you guys. So if you've got to wait a little bit, Calvin, you can just wait a little bit and then e transfer me it. Okay. Okay, got you. Yeah, just because I that one is going through my business account and I have to have the money go into there. No, I feel just that because that it makes it. Yeah, I just gotta get my truck payment to be- like not bounce. Oh, the first time it did, and I'm just like, fucking just cheeched. I know what you mean. I was pretty chopped. Gotta nice. love truck payments and adult shit. Yeah, that shit happened. Yeah, <laughs> my first day on the job was uh, <laughs> literally me fucking on the phone with the bank trying to fix my fucking, trying to fix my shit. That was fun. Okay, I guess I'll have to sort that out later. Man, this shit. It hits. It is delicious. The Mac 1 hits hard. I love this Mac 1. There you go. And I'm smoking this bitch though. Filter, filter. <coughs> mm. I've been taking my time, as you can tell. Huh. That's yeah. awesome. What? So the bunk reached out today, like 40 minutes ago. Oh, like and the people that make Wi-Fi? Or yeah. And I was, and honestly, I'm, they just, they, they reached out. I definitely want to, want to let them know, let everyone know this because this is huge. Co- companies that reach out and do this. And they actually follow up or huge because they're the ones that should be making the difference on the uh, on the market. But they're like with all the products that Motif brings to market, we really aim to really aim for quality overall, and we take reviews like this seriously to improve what we bring to market. So they're gonna bring it back to the lab and see if they can find a better tasting um, deliverance for it. Which honestly, the the white <coughs> fire wasn't a poor <coughs> experience at all. Like I wasn't no, I, dis- I wasn't disappointed in the flavor. It just it was, wasn't my flavor. Was, well, it wasn't. Right, and and that's and I appreciate the company taking that and trying to improve the flavor because if they can, 
Why not? And even right? taking the time to send yeah. you a message as well. That is just But still, the high, the high, absolutely phenomenal. It, it was, noise. yeah. It's just the I flavor. It. it was, it, there, it, there was hints that they wanted it to be something, but it's just. It was a little bit un- underwhelming well, for what I wanted. Yeah. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, yeah, if you want to hit that dab, dude, hit that dude, dab, whatever. Take, That's why I just set it up for you. I'm still smoking this big, fast stogie, yeah. brother. I'm, I'm enjoying the stogie. That green light meant it's heating up, right? Uh, wow. I did a green light thingy. Green light. Oh, no. Red light. Green light. Green light. Oh. I'm dying. Holy fuck. There you go. Now that that's going, is it ready to go? Uh, You'll feel it vibrate when it's, it hits temperature. Okay. You can just you can just watch the melt dab and hear it. Like that. I love that little puffco. It is so convenient. I I need to figure out what's going on with the battery. Yeah, you can start hauling on it anytime now. Now that it starts vaporing. And just throw your spoon on top or else it's going to be super airy. Yeah. It's still airy as shit, but it's nowhere near as bad. Okay. Let's see what, see what, see what. Yeah, right here. This is the video. Yeah, I saw that. Uh, yeah. <coughs> so this is Benny smoking my meat breath. And he just, he rolls, or is it this the one that he smokes it? No. Oh, yeah. You can tell it hits, sorry, dude. No worries. You can tell it hits the spot about halfway through. This is fucking hilarious. <coughs> oh, are you? Yeah. He sparks it up, and he, <coughs> he rolled it with a super chunker on it, and he couldn't get that first lighter to work, so he had to go to a second lighter. And then he had that super chunk on it, because the grind just didn't hit it enough. So he had to hit it with a torch, and then he had to get it with a lighter to fix the canoe. <coughs> Do you see what I mean by last, dude? <coughs> yeah, I think it's right after this. You just see his eyes just... They just get real tight. <laughs> you already see it. About halfway through, I'm like, holy shit. Meat breath is potent. Is that thing injured? <laughs> Oh yeah, you did for you did like. That, and what's funny is there's still a little bit left on that fucking thing, right? Like that's, that, but that's what I mean by you use a little bit, you take a big dab. How are you feeling? Oh, do I need a? Do I need to take a big puffco one and see? You just want to see what it is? Yeah. Okay. Let's do that. Oh, that was delicious. I love that ATF man. The high hits so quick. Yeah. So, like, that would be a big puff go dab. Holy. That would be. Eh. Lately, now that I've been dry dabbing. Fuck. This is the coolest phone in the world. Yeah. Oh. Oh, no. That's just a little bit of. The fact rest. that it opens like that. Right here. Oh, I'm just kidding. I'm supposed to be all mind blown and shit, but I've already seen something like that. My mom's got the uh, my mom got the same phone. I want the one that like flips. I want that one, the little flip, the more stand, the more old school one. Yeah. I'm gonna stick to iPhone because it's idiot proof. I iPhone has a security aspect to it. Which I is do nice. like iPhone. I am not Dude, gonna lie, honestly, it is so nice. And like the fact that you can just scan your face to do all your passwords and shit like that. No, just that you can go in back in and you can go look what your passwords are. Oh? How do you do that? Does it save it or something? Yes, it does. So, what app? Oh, bro. Settings. My Mac one's pretty good. Oh. Let me see. And then every single, like, for everything. Oh, my goodness. That, that is convenient. Did I just blow your mind? Yes, you did. Oh. She can hear somebody in the garage. Oh, no. Guess it's time for that big dab. Cheers, off. Oh, oh yeah. So that's how you do you feel. have to add them manually or does it add them for you? Because mine are not here. What? I don't have none there. Well, you usually, like, if it says asks to save, can you just, like, save it? <laughs> when you Maybe click no, or maybe click don't. Oops. Because okay. I thought it was asking to save to, like, the website. 
<laughs> just so that it like saves it in your thing. I don't understand how you can just touch that. <coughs> that ATF fucking smacks. Oh, you haven't even taken a dab yet. No. Oh, I'm just chilling. I'm hot as fuck, just chilling. Me too, that stuff is so good. Just gonna. Take that. Oh, yeah. Is that the right time? That's the right time. Is he on his way? Yeah, I just almost hit the truck. Oh, fucking. Come get it. You want a regular dab? Yeah. You know the Puffco hits me like Puffco hits me so hard, dude. So yeah, that was a minute and a half of heat. I ran two sessions on it too. That's how. Yeah. The dude is just—he's a monster, monster, monster. I lately, I, my dabs have been. I seen those two on your Instagram. Those two dry dabs in the car. Yeah. Oh my god. Just. Did I do is that your dab is your dab you're still dry? Yep. I like it. <laughs> I've been I just found a passion for dry dabs. I low key I may have to try a little di- dry dab at the ATF. Yeah. I feel like I might smell. <laughs> Fucking That's literally how I did my review. It was all dry it was dry dab, dry dab. I like it. I was like, I I've got a passion for dry dabs, so we're okay. taking dry dabs. <laughs> I never took one in my life, it's kinda nice. You can just smack a fat dab back in the hip, the, babe. The fucking haze here, right now. Yeah. The haze is absolutely <laughs> crazy. It's like, it's like in my new collab. <coughs> Can't see through the haze because the weed too tasty. <coughs> I love that shit. That was a hard fucking day. <coughs> oh, man. That song's gonna be so good, man. man. That dab set, man. Man, but I can't wait for that one. And then I can't wait for the one with Brooklyn CJ. Or not Brooklyn with CJ, Brooklyn Search. Jesus fuck. I got two of the artists I'm collabing with, like both in my head right now. <laughs> yeah, you're working with two people right now. Yeah, I'm working with uh, Young CJ and uh, Brooklyn Can CJ. you grab that other post for me, dude? Who, me? Did you throw it on top of it? Yeah, that's one's gonna be empty right away. Right there, yep. Yeah. Okay. Bada bing. I can't wait till that fucking. I, once I get that, that's. I'm gonna like. Sit and appreciate it. <coughs> once, I, once I get that shit. Oh man. <coughs> oh man. Okay, Kelton. Mm-hmm. Grab yeah. the dab. You want. Yeah, take the amount you want. <laughs> But you got oh, 15 seconds. Help me. I'm, I'm, I'm panicking. I was gonna say you got fucked up. Oh shit, I'm panicking. Oh shit, I'm you, could, you got five seconds, dude. You got. Oh shit. That's sh- fucking oh, fat. You're gonna go to space. Why Dive it. it. Dive it. Fuck, Fuck it. Send Fuck it. it. <laughs> Send it. Fuck. This is. Stop Just fucking me. around. Send that Especially shit. With that size of dab. Yeah, you want. Heat is your best friend right now. Just as good as anything. The go. consistency is beautiful. And there's a bag. Dude, that fucking dab is gonna send you so fucking far. Remember to salute Jesus as you go past him. <laughs> Thanos cool. is waiting for you. What kind of man? You got another 30 seconds. If you're taking a big one, about 20 seconds. Yeah, yeah 30 seconds, you're fine. That bag carries heat pretty good. I need to, and it's a dry dab. Yeah. I was just going to say, um, are you guys bringing in more 90 degree bangers like that? <coughs> when your stock comes in? <coughs> I was just going to say, you really want him to bring, because if he can bring a couple of those in, I'm, and if I could just even buy two of them, just yeah. two oh, 90 degree 14, ha, I would. Oh, 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 I think those oh, pulse are big oh. ones. Yeah, you send it. Maybe a little bit of a cooler dab to the paper on that. <coughs> you fucking. 
fucking demolish that thing, dude. <coughs> there was not much left on that one. Fuck me. Nice big dab on that one. Thank you, sir. <coughs> oh. <coughs> the ATF still goes a long way. <coughs> There might actually be a little bit of the fucking D bubble live resin left in there too from the last dab I had. Oh, I or actually, no, that would have been the ATF last night. Too. That well, that's a lung buster too. Yeah. That ATF, get your hands on it. You get your racy as fuck. So with that, you guys. I think we're going to go ahead and wrap this one up. Hell yeah. The next one will be Christmas Eve. So what we're going to do is we're going to sit down and honestly, I think we're going to just smoke some fucking pre-rolls. We're going to eat some edibles. We're going to, literally, we're going to review my homemade edibles because I've got a bunch more I'm going to make. I'm going to make some just regular gingerbread and we're going to come down and we're in the first episode we're eating edibles breaking that down second episode we'll smoke some joints and we're making gingerbread men so everyone's getting big so that being said though up at the corners the logo hover over that click that subscribe button and the bell notification so that you guys get notified anytime one of these videos go live down below we have two videos for you one's the most recommended the other one's the most recently uploaded please Pick either of those and anything else that I have to offer under Rider Leaf. But honestly, you guys, the Discord is the place to go and check out if you want to continue with this conversation because we have plenty of content on there for you guys to check out. With that being said, we'll see you tomorrow with our next piece of the 12 Days of Cushmas content. Cheers, y'all.